Hi guys, welcome to yet another video on Sam's AWS Learning Series. So Glacier, let's talk about uh, Amazon Glacier today. And before you know jumping to the concept, let's talk about um, uh, the typical uh, corporate uh, structure. I mean, per day they end up uh, handling petabyte uh, scale data. It's it, it's literally you know beyond our expectation. It it can you know uh, exceed petabyte scale as well. So per day they will have to you know uh, handle uh, that sort of data. and due to you know various requirements be that you know compliance and regulatory requirements safeguarding the data organizational policies project requirements they end up archiving most of it most of the data and uh, in typical you know situation in a typical corporate situation uh, they have this uh, backup team uh, they have uh, various you know methods uh, net backup uh, tape backup things like that and they maintain a you know dedicated team who will be looking after this uh, backup or archival process they will uh, be you know looking after hardware provisioning uh, they will be you know thinking about data replication the archival policies uh, and uh, if there are any failure on the hardware and the archival me me method they will have to replace it it's a you know time consuming and uh, what do you call uh, it it involves you know a uh, lot of you know cost around it but then you know safeguarding the data it it has the importance right i mean it is critical to the business as well and with amazon glacier you don't need to worry about any of it you upload your data into glacier and that's it amazon is going to take care of all these you know aspects be that hardware provisioning be that the data replication they will you know uh, maintain it they will uh, you know they will have a you know team we don't have to think about uh, you know creating a dedicated team who will be looking after uh, archival and uh, backup and uh, you have the freedom to you know come up with your own policies so that's the advantage with glacier and while talking about data let me tell you this there is this multi temperature data uh, data is you know classified into multi temperature uh, uh, you know classes we have got a uh, hot data we have got a uh, cold data as well so hot data let me you know um, briefly tell you what it is the data you need uh, rapid access to that's classified as a uh, hot data so we should uh, you know make that hot data available for uh, uh, easier consumption there should not be any delay and then there is this cold uh, data you know generally this is the uh, archived data and uh, the problem with archival is that you know uh, retrieval time there is a delay so you will have to you know bear uh, with that uh, that sort of you know time delay if you are uh, okay with it then your data will be in cold storage so for you know storing that cold data glacier can be utilized so amazon glacier is an extremely low cost storage service that provides secure durable and flexible storage for data backup and archival with amazon glacier customers can uh, reliably store their data for as little as uh, 0.004 uh, dollar per gigabyte per month Amazon Glacier enables customers to offload the administrative burdens of operating and scaling storage to AWS so that uh, they don't have to worry about capacity planning hardware provisioning data replication hardware failure uh, detection and repair or time consuming hardware migrations and glacier uh, it really you know scales up to your requirement you can only concentrate on as i said you can only concentrate on uh, you know keeping the data inside uh, glacier archival storage and uh, it will you know expand based on your requirement and then comes the million dollar question how do you put the data into amazon glacier there are you know several ways to it as uh, we have seen it in our last uh, uh, s3 lab lab session uh, we can set uh, life cycle rules with the help of you know life cycle rules you can set up uh, you know uh, this policy after you know certain days you can archive the data from s3 to glacier that's one way of uh, dealing with it and then by using you know amazon uh, sdk aws sdk you can upload uh, data to glacier and then uh, import uh, export uh, disk that's another you know method wherein you end up you know sending them uh, amazon uh, the data what you need to you know uh, archive and if you are maintaining any you know backup methods directly from that be that the tape library or things like that you can you know uh, take the data from it and directly you know hand it over to amazon so these are the you know several methods there is no maximum limit to the total amount of data that can be stored in amazon glacier individual archives are limited to a maximum size of 40 terabytes 
and one important thing you need to remember is this uh, the archival uh, you know what do you call data access time since this is archived the retrieval time data retrieval time is typically you know uh, ranging from 3 hours to you know 5 hours 3 4 or 5 hours it, it might take you know uh, if you want to restore the data from glacier there is this delay so that's the important thing you need to remember and this is only used for uh, uh, data backup and archival another thing is this uh, faqs i strongly recommend that uh, you pay visit to glacier faqs if you are planning to attend amazon exams the certifications aw certifications uh, if you can you know read through this it's better most of the you know questions are surrounding glacier you will you know see it in faq that being said thanks a lot for watching the video guys i'll see you in the next video